Okay, I wanted to show y'all a little bit of a modification I did to a tarp. This was one. This is a seal 1.1 seal nylon tarp that I made last year, I think. Uh, it started out. Uh, it was a 12 foot ridge line with and about 10 feet wide, give or take, at the corners. A little bit, a little bit narrower in the center of the cat cuts. Uh, but I didn't, I wasn't real crazy about the corners uh, and the ridgeline reinforcements that I had. So I decided to do an experiment and uh, trim the tarp down to where I could redo the corners and the ridgeline. So now it's about a 10 foot 4 ridgeline and about uh, 7.5 and to 8 foot, between 7.5 and, and 8 foot wide uh, is the width now. And I redid the corners a little differently, and I wanted to see what you think uh, when we're going to see if they hold up. What I did was I did a, a rolled hem like I normally would along the edge, but I took a piece of three-quarter inch gross gain, and I sandwiched that in under the inside the rolled hem and stitched it to the corner from both directions. And then I have another piece of gross gain folded with the D-ring in there and then bar tacked in three places there and I'm going to see if that dis distributes the force along the edges good enough it's a lot easier I think to do it that way than to have a reinforcement sewn in a patch in there it was just easier for me to put this gross gain in there but I'm curious if it's going to hold the weight well or the force enough to uh, not to to tear. Uh, it seems to be holding all right there. Of course, it's not very windy, of course, today, but it seems to be holding all right in the corner right there. Uh, I did the same thing up here at the ridge line. Same deal. The three-quarter inch gross gain is along here and along here with a, some webbing and bar tack with a D-ring. And I don't know, this is pretty tight right in here. So we'll see. I mean, it seems to be distributing the weight. I might could take a little slack off there, but it seems to be holding okay. I mean, it's it's tight, but I don't think it's gonna, doesn't look like it's gonna tear, but time will tell, I guess. But like I said, this is kind of an experiment. We'll see how it holds and if I wanna do any more tarps. Uh, this way for the tie outs but it all four corners that way you can kind of see through the tarp you can see you can see through there and see where the gross cane is along in here but so we shall see and uh, if it tears I guess I won't do this again I'll go back to the to the triangle of reinforcement material in there but but we'll see how it holds kind of an experiment wanted to, to show that to you and uh, maybe you can get some feedback see what you think if you think that uh, there's no way this is gonna hold let me know uh, if any of you have done this before something similar let me know too uh, how well it worked out for you and uh, I'd appreciate any feedback and there she is about 16 ounces in the stuff sack with the ridge line it's a ten and a half by about seven and a half or eight so it's a little lighter than it was before uh, we'll see if it's going to have enough coverage over my blackbird it's probably going to be minimal but for nice weather you know warmer weather not heavy rains it'll probably be okay but probably not that great for a winter tarp but we'll see so if you got any comments or feedback let me know what you think appreciate you watching